Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. VYC men and women here. Yeah, right? no, I'm good now. What? I'm good now. An amazing oh, grand finish. Finish. It was great. What? Well, okay. Molten V. That was great. But we were out at um, we were out at Kilsoth on Big Sunday crowd. after Massive this. crowd. Bumper. Yeah. You're not getting another person into that state. Massive. Well, you could have. Yeah. Maybe on the bench for one of the teams. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. But stands on the court. Stand that's full. illegal. Full. Stands yeah. were full. Well done to all of the Kilsyth, um fans and Waverley fans for coming out in yeah. force. And Great. Kilsyth put on an absolutely Great show. awesome afternoon. Yeah. Great job to everyone. Lots involved. off in the yeah. intros. Yeah. It was just. The atmosphere there was just incredible yep. for a VYC uh, grand final, and we were certainly treated to a game. We were second time, uh, second time in three weeks I've been out to Kilsyth for a VYC game. You're a bunch of bloody champions. Yeah, they people do a great job. The, the well show. Result wise, yeah. ooh, wasn't so good. Yeah, we're not going to pump you up here. Kilsyth 48 went down to Waverley 74, and there is no one in the entire state that would have tipped this. Margin. Or oh, margin, okay. No, you did tip Waverley. That's fine. That's, That's fine. Did. Hey, Falcons put on well, the Yeah, you're right. They won by 26. I did say Waverley by about 24, 25. So. Liar. <laughs> Flat out. Liar. <laughs> Falcons put Jets on the second half. That's yeah, where this game was won. Big time. Um, it was trending that way just before half time. Good call. But yeah, the floodgates were really open. The first quarter, Kilsarth looked the more settled of the they two did. sides. Move the some ball. of the Waverley guys, the bigger guys, got into two, two fouls each. So. Yep. 14 to 6 and 22 to 9 in the second half. Here's uh, the big here's the big one for me. Lowest score of the season for Kilsoft. Usually lowest. very polished offensively. They shot at just 23%. They they just look like they rushed. They couldn't get way too many yeah, shots, especially in the second half. Contested shots. Yep. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Oh yeah. Oh whoops. Um like Kwani Kwani was very good. Right. 20 points, 14 boards. Michael Harper, 19 points, 6 boards, 4 assists. It was fantastic. Yeah, really good. Uh, Matt McCarthy only played about 18 minutes. 19, 19 minutes, I reckon he played. 12 points, 12 boards, 3 blocks, and every one of those were felt like yeah, they were just yeah. significant. Really um, Regan Grimwood, 10 points for Kilsyth, Kieran Murphy, 8 and 11. MVP went to Matt McCarthy in the end. Yeah, it did. And, um, <coughs> How's the D on Regan Grimwood in the first half? By the way, well, it was an incredible thing to see. Well, not just the first half. I think they did it for the whole game. Yeah. We didn't see much after half time, but they basically did not play a defender on the kill size point guard. Didn't yeah. play him. They, they did. They just Mate, they, they were, were five feet off. off. Yeah. So Kwani Kwani had the job on him. Yeah. Kwani Kwani was in the middle of the the, the paint. And I think they had to play like that. Grimwood's so quick that if yeah. they come out too much, he just would have they, they didn't respect Grimwood. his jumper at all. At all. Zero. And if, if Grimwood had have come out and hit, you know, four or five of them. They would have had to have changed. Yeah, but you know what? It's yeah. tough mentally to knock down shots when you know Absolutely. they know you step off. It's um, tough. Hey, MVPs are always hard to choose. Yeah. For. And, and Matt McCarthy was great in 19 minutes, mm. uh, but just as equally, just as equally, it could have also gone to Kwani Kwani and Michael Harper. They were both terrific. Kwani's like well. sort of floating way up that he banks on. Like that's impossible. His best to touch. He's, 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 he's incredible. He's 45 drive. Yeah, uh, yeah, off the glass at about seven, yeah. eight foot. Yeah, it's just you can't guard. It's incredible because he'll take his contact, yeah. give himself a little bit of room, and then elevate. Yeah, you know, very, very. Full good. credit to me for both of these teams. Kilsyth, the defending champions, they had nine new players into that yeah. team this year, oh, and you know we didn't expect and very be. gracious. Yeah, in yeah. defeat. Uh, Pete Godfrey, the coach, great speech, spoke really well. Yeah, and he made the point that it's the best under twenty three league in Australia, and which it is, which it is. Which well it done is. to running yeah. and there was. You know, he, he spoke really well. And look, to Waverley, a lot of these guys will move on now to, to college and to maybe see and to. stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, um, you know, I know they were happy to finish what some of these guys' youth league career with a win. So, well done to both teams. It was Waverley the better team on the day. It was a great exhibition of the, the talent of uh, this state. Oh, the, whole, the whole season in the VYC right. men's competition has just been incredible. Yep. I was walking into the state. I was running into the state because I was running late. Well, I, was, I was running in, uh, a guy walking beside me. Yep. Um, I said, hey man, what are you doing here? I, I knew the person. He said, I'll just come down to see some of the best yeah. players in a grand final. Yep. And for me, I thought, <laughs> yep, spot on. I think on. there's an argument that spot the, on. the BYC men and women's competition is up there in the best leagues because it's mostly no doubt. Home, in the country. It's mostly yeah. home no doubt. kids. Yep. The crowds in the finals, are, like that crowd was just huge. Yep. Well done to all the great game. It was a lot of fun and Waverley's <coughs> best team this season. Yeah. I'm pleased to say I was one of the few that tipped you, and I, I, one, cer eight. Good I certainly, I, mind you, can I just say, because I said this on Big V Live on, on uh, Sunday, yeah. Yeah, I did tip Waverley in the grand final, not by 26, you're right, but I went back and had a look, I reckon five rounds into the season, 
on Big V TV, I sat here and said, after the disastrous start that they had had, I said, Waverley will not make the finals. <laughs> Great tip. So, hey, sorry you can't get it all, right? No, you uh, can't, yeah. sorry, but I did get the big one. Anyway. All right, well, that yeah. was the men, the women. Do you want yeah. to go through it? Who do I see that our champions of the Knox Raiders uh, defeating Boleyn 57 to 47, pretty yeah. low scoring game. The Boomers actually led by a point yeah. at the half, then Knox busted the game open, as they so often do in that yeah. third quarter with a 20 to 10 third quarter. Knox had 18 points off um, turnovers, which was really costly. Boomers had eight points off Ooh. turnovers. Yeah, what's the, di what's the difference? 10 points difference, 10 points difference uh, in the game. Uh, uh, Boomers, I think, are 23, 24. Four turnovers for the game. Well, there yeah. you go. So that those um, points off turnovers. Rebecca Ott, Ott, just an outstanding player. 18 Three. points, 13 boards. MVP Sam Ott? Castles, no, 12 oh. points and six boards. <laughs> Sam Moody had eight and eight for bullying. Oh. The MVP was Taylor Lee. Oh, Nothing. Taylor Lee, the point yeah. guard. Engineer. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, yeah. What I really liked about this, you know, having at one stage been a Knox person, they played the game actually old at, at the old Knox basketball stadium. Ooh, so Packed it. Boring throw. Yeah, absolutely. Was it flooded? It out. No, it wasn't, it wasn't flooded. flooded. It wasn't like those <laughs> oh. that day. Jeez. Like, if we turned up to work one day, <laughs> we had to canoe our way home. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually Well, it's in a basin. It's in a yeah. sink. We turned up the next day in our bathers. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. That's but, the work here for now. Um, you know, <laughs> Well done to Knox. They've just I've seen them play a few um, times this season. They're an outstanding basketball team. They've they've done really well. But well done to Pauline because halfway through oh, the season deals. when they had a slump, none of us even thought they would make finals. Let alone Great. get to the championship game. They're a young team. They're going to be around for a while. Yes. So Gary Fox yes. made a huge difference to that Foxy. program, and that's Seven great. Is that. Yeah. And Foxy not goes on and coaches the seniors at Pauline. If there's a change. <coughs> I don't know. Oh, what'd you call? I don't know. Excuse me. No, 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 no. I'm calling because I'm sick as a dog. Um, no, I think uh, Foxy would probably really enjoy coaching this team. Oh, yeah, um, I think he'd love... He's done that. He's done the elite level stuff. Mm. I think he's just, you know, coaching youth now and loves developing talent. Just two well things. to Robbie Baldwin, too. Oh, very good. Great coaches. I was well, Robbie. To see yeah. Him. Has he confirmed what he's doing next season, by the way? Yes. I asked him a couple of times. Set the... up yours, Justin, I'll tell him. Yeah. So I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I just want to add two things to this. First of all, yeah. point one. You two guys on this show have been with Knox since day one. Yep. Yeah. So I just want to say well done to you two. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too tough, but yeah. I just want to say well done to you yep. two because yeah. you were. You've been with them the whole way. You backed them the whole way. It comes with the just yeah. Well, this, well, it's still like about to get slapped yeah, down. Going, don't you? Oh, well, uh, the other thing is true or false. Just getting back to the floods at Knox back in two thousand and seven. Yeah. True or false? Yeah. Were you doing belly whackers off the far end backboard? Court six. Court five, I think it was. True or false? It's, it's true, isn't it? That's how bad the floods were down oh, there. Yeah. We well, know how bad the floods were. Oh, you can do a belly whack to do. Got a bit of a belly to do it. Very, very <laughs> Hey, listen, how did um, how did Mel go in this game for Knox? One of my favourites, Mel. Uh, I got a text message from Mel's Mel. mum, Jenny. It's not Mel. Oh, yeah, well, what's, does Jenny not want to do <coughs> Jen? Is it Ginny? Is it? Is it Jin? Or They were really disappointed that you weren't at their game on Sunday. Because Mel, Millie, well, was going to kick her ass. ass. I wish she would too. Yeah. Mate, if you, if you step between the lines, she was... <laughs> 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 I don't know if you can say that. Probably wouldn't do that. But if you step outside, the, if yeah. you step outside the line, she'd be Great like, kid. oh look, you know. Yeah. Don't uh, oh, but you're Jenny wasn't man. happy, you are in Jenny's bad books. Yep. Oh, okay, so look, this is the last VYC show for the year. <laughs> okay, <laughs> silly season, we'll come back a little bit later on. So, uh, look. We do have a little bit of fun here. If we haven't driven you up the wall or we haven't sunk the boots in yet, take your number, we will get to you. We'll eventually get there. Yeah. I do apologise to Jenny and Mel. I'm very, very sorry. Millie. Who? Millie. Hey, Millie. Mally, I'm, oh. I'm very, very sorry. Wow, I, look forward to, I look forward to seeing you're you out next season. She stabbed me. That's pretty rough to say that. Don't, <laughs> don't say, say that. You can't say that, Cal. Hey, well done to <laughs> Waverly <laughs> and... Knox, yeah. well done to Waverley. Deserving Knox. champions, both teams. Yeah. Well. Can I also just a big thumbs up for Fairgo Sport, Grand Yeah, beautifully done. And Moulton. Dave Fletcher, oh, yeah. star, best ball in the business, and we look with forward to Moulton VYC not next even season. Close. Yep. No, not even close. Hope you've enjoyed the season uh, to all of our VYC friends. Dinner. Come and celebrate with us. Oh yeah, champions. Go and get your um get your trophy in front of the rest of the league. I'm just gonna full melt. I hope so, because mm. oh, you're in trouble if she is. She's not coming if you keep calling him Mel. What do you yeah. think about that? Can I just what? say, just a little bit of a whisper that we might have a new ball in the Molten VYC competition next year. 
a molten ball, but maybe specific. a specific, specific molten ball. Oh, you know like something then. Just no, you know, you just, know something. You'll we'll have to watch Silly Season to get it confirmed. Silly Season coming up in not too distant future. Yeah. Anything else? September 20 is the dinner, guys. I don't oh. know if you heard. If you haven't, it is. you should have. Get any oh. tickets, guys. Any has really stadium, good. beautiful. Yeah. StickyTickets.com.au forward slash big. And I hope you're there, Millie. I look forward to seeing you. Yay! Uh, great season, BYC. All of our players out there, well done. Ripping basketball. Congratulations to Waverley and Knox. We'll yeah. catch you real soon on Big V TV.